Today I'm expecting the parcel, and this parcel is my new iWatch Ultra 2. Over the years of changing things and having new updates and new iPhones and new iWatches and iPads, the question is, what do we do with all the old stuff once we put it in a drawer or something? Here it is. This is the new iWatch Ultra 2 unboxing. But before I unbox this, I did ask the question, what do we do with all the old iWatches, iPhones, once we have a new one? So the first one here was the Series 2, which still works. Series 2, it's a bit worse for wear. 4, and very dirty. And then after the four, I got a six, um, the watch I'm still using. So in other words, you buy something new and you end up keeping everything, the two, the four, and the six. Now the question posed, of course, is that all these work. It's only the hardware limitations of the watch. Each one, including this series two, still updates to a certain point. So we have three watches and now we have a fourth one. Excitement. There it is. It's quite soft. I thought uh, when I looked at it, I thought it was going to be quite, um, quite stiff. But actually, it's very, very soft material, and it does have a bit of give in it. Got to pair everything up. I want to set up myself, of course. Now restore from backup because I want to keep all the information I had on this watch, I want to transfer to the other one. So restore from backup. Then you choose the current one, which is this one, paired. Now, agree of course. Uh, sign in to messages, skip that, don't want that. Create a long passcode. Uh, pay, set up later. Double tap, uh, action button. So workouts, because obviously I wear this at the gym all the time, put it there. Okay, open depth when submerged. Diving safety. I don't do any diving. Our point is sinking. So in other words, all the information from this old chestnut now is being passed over. So while you do that, you can get to know what the new system holds. Right, welcome to my watch, okay. It's there. Paul's new Apple Watch and Sadly, my old one. What do you do with all your old stuff? iPod, 2007, I bought this one. Then we move on then to a, another iPhone. Look at the size of this one there, compared to a four. Um, wow, I tried to charge it, but no, it doesn't hold a charge. The battery is too old. iPhone six, remember this, the Motorola Razr. Uh, this is my wife's. I had a black one. This is a V3. And I had the V8. Actually, believe it or not, I actually charged it up. V3. The 12. The iPhone 11 Pro, which sits here, which uh, I still have, but it's somewhere. And then the final one is the 15. 
which goes here. So there you have a complete spectrum. Plus there's another two phones in there somewhere. Um, but what I'm saying is the whole point of this is we chase numbers. And that's what we do. We upgrade. I am not that bad. I wait a couple of years in between. But the sentimental thing is, why do I still keep my phones? Why do I not just throw them away or recycle them? And the answer is, I don't know. Mini 2. Got this one, which is the 4. The iPad 12.9 third generation. So this is an iPad Pro. I use this for work. The last iPad we bought. Eight years old, and it still works. Oh, the trackpad doesn't work, and the speakers have gone. Does that okay, but you can't really edit anything unless you're just editing 1080p. It can handle 4K. The question is, do I get a new laptop, or do I get a watch? So that's why I plumped for getting a, a watch. I'll get more use out of a watch. As you get more and more devices as the time goes by, of course, we end up with this. Now you can understand why the EU wants to do away with all these different plugs. But my wife does the same thing as, as me. You get a phone, you update, you get a new one, and but you keep the old one. That's the very strange nature. Right, that's it from me. Can have some food. Thanks for watching.